Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, day 93, Monday morning, June 12, June 22nd. Wow, here we are, day 93. Um, some disturbing news over the weekend. We uh, now have 62 cases in the county, done up 17 cases in one week. So we're creeping up. Ah, good coffee, good coffee. How is everybody doing this morning? Good morning, Susan. Looks like uh, we got a little postponement yesterday. God, I hope it's still in HD. Um, some other disturbing news from the camp that was uh, Bubba Wallace's pit, um, his garage stall. They found a noose hanging in his garage stall. You know, I know racers. I know racers like to... Uh, like to rub each other and they get each other and psychologically um you know try to wound each other you know because it is a battle of wits and psychological um but timing bad timing not good not good for nascar's theme nascar should not let, ever let that that kind of stuff happen right now um that being said you know somebody flew somebody flew a confederate flag over the top of the over over the racetrack yesterday um, NASCAR has always been notorious, notorious for racism, notorious for racism. If you haven't seen the movie Uppity, it's on Netflix. It's the story of, uh, Willie Teagues, Willie T, um, an amazing race car driver, absolutely amazing race car driver. They, NASCAR, those good old boys were not letting him in the race. They knew he, they would, he would be a winner and it wasn't going to happen and the story of how he struggled through adversity and still kind of wound up broke i mean he was an amazing race car driver and they just wouldn't let him in i mean i think he i think he drove like two or three races and it's just he they weren't gonna let him in it's, it's the good old boy club it's time to eliminate that so I don't got a lot to talk about this morning. I know it's Monday morning and we have 62 cases in the county now. Um, I'm just, uh, and it's gonna rise. I was reading an article that um, if, if business is found to be related, be related to a business, um, public courtesy is that that business will be named. But so far, none of these cases that, that are, I think there's like, 10 that are still under investigation but so if it's linked to a local business that business will be named let's just hope it don't come down to that but if the cases keep rising you know in the very beginning we didn't have a lot of cases because everybody was everybody was compliant everybody was staying home everybody was in lockdown you could drive through downtown uh ukiah and there would be nobody on the streets a month later it was like business as usual, people everywhere, just like, oh, screw that, I'm out, I'm gone, I'm doing my thing. Can't be that way. We can't be that way. We got to make sure that we're uh, compliant and uh, we whoop this thing. It's affecting, it's affecting everybody, everybody in general, it's affecting. Um. Anyways, okay, short one today. I got I got stuff to do. I got Zoom meetings to get to. I got um, business to attend to. That's why I'm a little bit late this morning. Uh, maybe we'll do a little bit longer one tomorrow. But um, anyway, so I'm out of here. Um, everybody have a good one. Hey, Nick, how's it going, buddy? Sorry, I'm just kind of checking out right now, but good to see you on here. I'll be back tomorrow morning. Um, stay home and stay safe, okay? Anyway, see you. elbow bump. Live long and prosper. Stay home, stay healthy, stay safe. Wear your mask because it's mandatory. And uh, I love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow.